Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to review She Said. Uh, before I do that, let me give you the synopsis, and this comes from AMC. Two-time Academy Award uh, nominee Carrie Mulligan and Zoe Kazan stars New York Times reporters Megan Tui, Toy and Jody Cantor, who together broke one of the most important stories in a generation. A story that helped launch the Me Too movement, shattered decades of silence around the subject of sexual assault in Hollywood, and altered American culture forever. So, as it says there, uh, so this is the story of how the Times uh, broke the uh, broke the. We basically talked about the story of uh, of sexual assault in, in Hollywood, but more specifically with Harvey Weinstein. Uh, so he was the main focus. And so it talked about how, you know, he would assault uh, not only actresses in Hollywood, but also people in his staff, people that work for him in Miramax. So for people in his staff, he would, you know, the, he, they would, the, the, especially, you know, because there would be young women, they would be told, oh, go to Harvey's apartment or, or uh, hotel room. And they would go there. And they would essentially be like their, his assistant, and but he would always be like in his uh, he would be in his uh, in a bathrobe, and he would uh, you know they would talk and he would say hey give me a massage right like all the girls do it right give me a massage, and when they would feel uncomfortable he would tell them let me give you a massage first that way you can uh, feel more you know more comfortable and not be as nervous whatever, and then he would you know do different things to them, right? Or do different things in front of them. So, you know, and, and a lot of times, you know, most of the times they would, you know, they would, you know, either do something or, or, or leave. But then, you know, they're trying to, you know, the whole thing about sexual assault, it doesn't always have to be a physical thing. But it's all you know. But it's also a mental thing, right? It can be. It can be. A, it affects you in many different ways because, when especially when you deal with someone as powerful as Harvey Weinstein, right? He can essentially make a break or a career. And if you're trying to make it in, in that business, and you have somebody, someone who's um, who's that powerful, and is and is trying to make you do things that you're not comfortable with you start second guessing yourself like, Hey, should I do this? Should I not do this? Because you don't, you know, you're, it's, it's a weird thing, right? I, I couldn't even imagine, right. And the moment, especially in the moment, what I would even do, right. You would think you're like, Oh, I, I would do a certain, I would act a certain way, but you don't, you really don't know until you're in that situation yourself. So that's the, that's the crazy part, right? Cause you, is you know you're 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 this is that's your job your career right and you're trying to make it especially when you're young and you're impressionable and you think you know am i the person in the wrong here am i the one that's making this um weird or making this sexual right so you start you start playing mind tricks with your own self and then with the, with the actresses that would go and and um speak with Harvey, right, for parts, you know, you're, 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 he has your career in hand, right? Or at least that's the way you feel. So when he's asking you to do certain things, again, you're debating, right? You have to debate within that millisecond. It's like, okay, what do I do? Do I, do I do something? And then maybe, you know, I get the part. Because there's no guarantee, right? And then, like, if I don't do anything, what is he going to do? Is he going to, uh, uh, you know, blackball me? Is he going to, is he going to do something to ruin my career? And and he did that to a lot of women, right? And so, it, it's nuts. It's crazy. So the Me Too movement came after the story uh, was published. And it inspired a lot of women, not just in Hollywood, but throughout the different um, work environments and different um, around the world, really, to speak up and speak out about their experiences, things they've gone through. And 
And it's a way not only to, you know, have those that were um, that were perpetrating the the sexual harassment and sexual assault to um, to face the consequences, but it it was also a way to help the future generations not deal with that, right? So a lot of companies had to uh, put new processes in place in order for their employees to feel more comfortable about speaking up without fearing retaliation, right? So so it was a big thing. It was a big thing. And I believe the Me Too movement started in 2016. And, you know, we're in 2022, and that's already six years. It doesn't seem like it was six years ago, but it was, you know. If I remember correctly, that was in 2016. So that's pretty crazy, you know. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, it was a big, big, big movement back then. Um, you know, it's not as much anymore, but like I said, a lot of companies did implement these processes and within the company in order for people to speak more freely and 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 not feel that pressure, right? That way, they don't feel that. Oh, I I need to do something in order for my career to uh, to continue or to um, progress. So that is really a good thing, right? So that's a really good positive that came out from the Me Too movement. As far as the movie, like what type of you know the movie itself, it's an enjoyable film. I liked it. I think it's a good solid film. As far as like more going into like the genre or, or subgenre of, of investigative reporting, that type of movie, how does it kind of rank or how does it stand to other movies? Mm, I would say, you know, you know, the one that comes to mind maybe was Spotlight that uh that's the the one I remember the like, you know, I'm trying to remember which ones, you know, at least lately. And I think Spotlight was the last film I saw, I believe, about investigative reporting. So it was about the Boston Globe investigating the uh, the Catholic Church. So I think maybe I enjoyed that one a little bit more than this one. But this one, again, this one's a solid film. I would say go check it out uh, if you're, especially if you're interested in those type of uh, those type of films with the uh, you know with the the journalist and investigative reporting. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, but it's also, you know, it's, it's a good, uh, good watch about the uh, how the essentially the Me Too movement or the catalyst of the Me Too movement started. Uh, so it's also a good, a good watch for that. So you know, I would say get, go check it out and go check it out for yourself. And uh, well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to give it a, a, a like. And if you enjoyed the content of this channel. And you want to support me and you want to support the channel to grow, it would help a lot if you would subscribe. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.